Okay, in this video we are going to solve a weighted rates problem about a trapezoidal trough, which is, um, the geometry is a little more difficult than most related rates problems, so let's get into it. So we have a trough that is 10 meters long, a cross section has the shape of an isosceles trapezoid that is 30 centimeters wide at the bottom, 80 centimeters wide at the top, and has a height overall of 50 centimeters. Um, so one of those dimensions is in meters and three of them are in centimeters, um, I'm actually going to work in meters in this problem because the rate that we're given is in meter, cubic meters per minute. Um, so if the trough is being filled with water at a rate of 0.2 cubic meters per minute, how fast is the water level rising when the water is 30 centimeters deep? So I'm going to work the entire problem in meters, and let's see how it goes. So I'm going to draw a picture of what I think this looks like. So here's my isosceles uh, trapezoid, and uh, I'm going to use 0.8 on the top. 0.3 on the bottom, and then 0.5 on the overall height. Um, and so those are in meters. And there's also the additional kind of the, the whatever, the length of the trough, I guess, is 10 meters. Um, so I'm going to add to this picture kind of a water level. And in doing that, I can see that uh, I'm going to break this up a lot more. So I'm going to break this up into some triangles. Um, so if you look, we got triangles, and then I'm going to call the height of my new little isosceles trapezoid, um, H, and then I divided up the, uh, that, the horizontal part there into an R, a 0.3, and an R, which is going to be kind of crucial. So I'm calling it R because of the cone problems that we do more often. Um, and now I have a right triangle, so I can kind of work with that. So let's just find the, um, the volume of the trough we would get using our little trapezoid. So volume is going to be the area of the base times the height. Um, so as I do that, the area of the base, so the base is a trapezoid, so that's going to be um, 1 half, and then uh, it's the base, which is 0.3, plus the top base. So it's 1 half the sum of the bases times the height, so or half the height times the sum of the bases, however you want to say that. So it's 1 half, uh, 0.3 is the bottom base. The top base is going to be um, 0.3 plus 2R. And then um, the height of the trapezoid. So that's 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So all of that is actually just the area of the base. And then the height overall is 10, because that's like the, the depth of this thing. So maybe I don't use good the best words for that, but um, that's what we work out to. So this you can simplify a little bit, it's worth it. So we get uh, 5 and then the quantity 0.6 plus 2R and then still times H. Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, see what I'm trying to solve for. So how fast is the water level rising? So I'm looking for dH dt, which means I'd like to replace the R in there with something in terms of H. So I'm going to do that by looking at uh, my little right triangle there that has R and H as legs. And I'm going to extend that up, and then instead of using 0.8 all the way across the top, I'm going to cross that out, and I'm going to use, that's 0.3, and then by symmetry, 0.25 and 0.25 in each kind of the wings there. So now I have a right triangle that I can use for some ratios. So I have this triangle, blow it up a little bit. So I just pulled that off the overall picture. And from there, I can see that R over H is going to be 0.25 over 0.5, um, which means that R is equal to 1 half of H, which is good because now I can go back to my volume formula and substitute that in. So V is 5, the quantity 0.6, 2 times 1 half H, and then the whole thing times H. And we can clean that up a little more. Got this, and then I'm going to distribute everything. Um, and get volume is 3h plus 5h squared. Okay, so I did all of the geometry stuff that I need. I have the volume as a function of the height. I'm looking for dh dt. This is a good setup so far. So uh, I need a new page, so copy the relevant details. And let's search through the problem and see what else we know. So um, we know that the trough is being filled at a rate of 0.2 cubic meters per minute. So that's dv dt, and it's filled, so it's positive. And we are looking for dH dt when the water is 30 centimeters deep, but I'm doing everything in meters. So I'm going to say that h is 0.3 meters. All right, so I know what I'm going to eventually substitute in. I need to get a dH dt in my equation somewhere, so I'm going to take a derivative. 
So dv dt is going to be 3 dh dt plus 10 h dh dt. So the 10 comes from 5 times 2. Um, the extra dh dt is from the chain rule. So I have this. This I'm going to factor because I think it will make my life a little easier. Um, so it's 3 plus 10 h and then dh dt. Okay, and now I know my values. I have uh, 0.2 for dv dt. I have 0.3 for h. And I'm actually trying to solve for dh dt. So we plug in. We get this. So now I know that dh dt is 0.2 divided by 6. Um, that's weird. So 0.2 is 1 fifth. So I'm going to write my answer as dh dt is 1 over 30. Um, but you're not done until you put units on this thing. So um, all my lengths are in meters, and time is measured in minutes here. So this will be meters per minute, which is a good answer. If you'd rather have your answer in centimeters, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So we could also go with 10 over 3 centimeters per minute. Either of those is a good answer. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.